for joining us, sir. Um, okay, Rick, uh, do, do you want to reclose it or <laughs> call for any more? Well, I'll, uh, I'll call again. Or anybody we missed uh, wants to get in on the phone, call now. Wuhan.
Pete here, I, I took a Tentec model 150A, which is a crystal controlled, uh, eight channel crystal controlled from uh, two, two to 12 megahertz uh, commercial transceiver. And I got rid of the crystals and I built an SI5351 with an Arduino. So that now it operates on three bands. I did have to uh, take one of the bandpass filters because the upper frequency limit was 12 megahertz. And I did have to open that up past 14 megahertz so it could work on 20. But uh, added the uh, SI5351 and it tunes just like a regular transceiver. It has upper and lower sideband, which you can see change there. It has push to talk and it has Vox and CW. There's a separate Vox and CW board and I have a schematic. You could actually build one and install it in here so that you could operate CW with this. Uh, I took out the, uh, the clarifier is a band switch so in one position it's four, uh 75 meters the other position is 40 and the other it's 20. so uh we're able to uh have a little fun here with uh with the radios and uh it's still a few warts in in the process but i just made a 40 meter contact and everything went uh, pretty good so uh i'm looking forward to maybe spending a little more time with this radio and uh, just having a little fun playing with it and uh, i just thought i'd share with you i did this a couple years ago but it's been sitting on a shelf that's a 12 megahertz filter in there and so i had to do some special things about spurs and what have you going through the filter so uh, pete here i didn't pay a lot of money for this and for not a lot of money i was able to convert it to a pretty nice rig uh, formerly i had a remote control box so that everything was done in the remote control box and there was an actually speaker mounted behind its grill I removed the speaker so I could put the SI5351 in there. You can see it there. And uh, uh, you used to have a selection of 160, uh, 75, 60, 40, 30, and 20 meters. So you had like six bands. But uh, to me, it uh, didn't make any sense to uh, have all that. It was a little bit, of, it was all kind of wires. And so I decided to just put three bands and put everything integral inside the radio. So taking a step back, it doesn't look too bad. It's not a bad looking Tentec. I think I paid 99 bucks for this. And with uh, maybe another $40, $50 worth of parts, uh, I was able to convert it into a tri-band rig. And pretty nice. Got, got a good signal report off. It puts out 100 watts, so uh, we're kind of happy. P here, N6QW, and that's our tour of the Tentec Model 150A, which has been converted to uh, VFO use on tri-bands 80, 40, and 20.